Hello everyone, this is Warpster77 tuning into another video, and today I'm going to start off with the M16A3 uh, close quarters variant because, well, we're on mall map, and it's King of the Hill, so I actually might be able to run through all the classes on this map because uh, I'm not a fan of using this for long range, but oddly enough, you can use long range weapons on mall map uh, as effectively, and it also helps with cross range maps, so I really do like using uh, mall map for these demonstrations because it covers a large variety of things without having to isolate certain areas so that I can't use certain things at certain times. But the reason the PBS-1 works really well with this one is because the ARS limits are, uh, <laughs> limits are already quick recoil on this weapon as is. Now the only bad part about using the PBS-1, especially on such a close quarters map like this one, is that people will see you coming long ways away long long ways away compared to like the ARS which I'll show you right now since uh, I kind of was cut short there but versus the ARS which I'll show you that will have uh, a significant impact as far as accuracy goes but in exchange you're also going to be a lot less heard over the span of distances especially in this map and I like the Cobra sight because it especially for close quarters in particularly the Cobra gives uh, it gives a decent amount of magnification versus uh, say like a reflex which lowers magnification but lowers uh, recoil so actually if you wanted to use ARS I would recommend the reflex sight because it might actually counterbalance see like once you get to like ranges this large which isn't that far at all you're gonna have to tap fire it to get any sort of meaningful shots off but Offhand, it's a really fucking sweet ass hip fire gun. <laughs> oh, I hate that stupid fucking glitch. My bullets come out the back of my fucking face. Which I also think is a cult and responsible reason for the whole uh, head glitching thing. If bullets actually did come out of the barrel of your gun, it'd be a much different story. Oh shit, forgot to meet her. Alright, and uh, yeah, the ARS definitely helps as far as keeping yourself off radar for distances because it, the, the, the difference between like an ARS and a PBS-4 is only like 10 studs versus the PBS-1 is 30 studs, which is a significant difference in length, but in other, in other ways it's not really that much, but oh shit. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Running away. Running around at the speed of sound. Holy shit, that corpse spawn is real. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch. Oh dear god. I'm on radar. Okay. Who did I last kill? Oh, motherfucker. Oh. And all was quiet on the grassy knoll. Or what is that stupid fucking movie? I think it's the grassy knoll. Is that the that's the one with World War One where the dude at the very end just gets his head's blown out? And if you if that's spoiler alerts, you need to fucking There's no way you were gonna watch that movie. It's impossible unless you were just going into history class. And you're still talking about World War One at this point in the game. You're you're out of your league, son. You're out of your league. You were either gonna read it or you weren't gonna read it or you're gonna watch it, you ain't gonna watch it. Fucking kill me! Hey, Corpse Spawner, kill me. Asshole, kill me. Hey, I'm asking you to kill me. But okay. I need, like... Where's Kudio when I need him? Where's where's that fuck stick? Where are you? Kudio. Kudio, kill me. Kill me, please. Kill me. Kill me, please. Come on now. I'm running out of bullets. And I need to move on to the next class. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. Kill me. <laughs> One time I want to die. <laughs> Kill me. Maybe that's... Isn't that like a thing in Japan? Like the mentality is. Go into battle. Think... Uh, willing to die and you shall live. Go into battle hoping you shall live. You shall surely die. Or whatever that credo is. Kill me. Kill me. Thank God. Oh, thanks, 77. Hiya. All right, so moving on to the next one. All right, so here it is with comp aim point and swap out for the green laser. Uh, I kind of like it just because the comp aim point is a very good all-around sight. It's not too high of a magnification zoom to where you need 
uh, canted delta sight, but it's also not that low of magnification where you would have trouble at range. So it's kind of like the happy, you know, the happy medium of sights, which I think needs to be a bit more averaged out because there's too many, uh, too many times where it's either like you have a high intensity sight or a, like sights don't do enough magnification. Like I want the M145 to be a high zoom sight. If you're giving it that much shit with the recoil on it, you need to have it be a higher mag. And that person is in the perfect corner. Like that was the most perfect corner to not get fucked from that position. Like good God. Uh, anyway, carrying on my wayward son. I enjoy this site and uh, setup, but if I wanted to, I probably would switch out the muzzle brake for like maps like this for the ARS, and it would perform just just as adequately, and etc. Now, if you also wanted to swap out this site for like a reflex site, say you like closer range, then that also would help uh, as well for those who of you, since it wouldn't really impact it that significantly. So yeah. Just, just keeping options open, because like I said, these these classes are meant to be optimized, and I think now that they're getting rid of the ML, the MLG, yeah, yup, that things will be a lot more evenly dispersed, and attachments will be a lot more uh, customizable versus just compensator, angle grip, and yada yada yada. So I'm glad that they're nerfing that at least. If they were gonna nerf one thing, it's about fucking time they nerf this, because that was that's bullshit, and it makes these kind of videos not as uh not as necessary but now that they are doing that maybe these videos will be even more valuable so catch 22 on my hand also I will say one more thing over the M16s over like the AKs is that these reload much they feel like they reload much faster I don't know if they are or not in fact you can just check it alright anyway moving on to the next class now for those of you who do like the MLG class may I offer my opinion as for the site choice the PKAS this is with uh, angle grip, green laser, and compensator. But I swapped the side out instead of a reflex for lesser recoil. I did it for more magnification zoom on the PKAS. So it keeps recoil pretty pretty low, substantially speaking, at least. And it offers quite a handful of choices for uh, versatility in close in range or not. It doesn't. They share the same zoom as the Compain Point and the PKAS, so you're not really losing slash gaining anything with sight choice. You're just losing that recoil deficiency with, uh, say, if you were using the reflex sight. So yeah, just state my options. Hello, 77. Although personally, the damage th uh, thing by two health can be a pain in the ass, even though technically it still takes the same amount of bullets to kill someone. Instead of a 3, it's a 4 with the A4 and M16 variants. The difference is, I'm going to be showing you different ways on how to set up the classes versus what the classes actually do, and different scenarios and reasons to use them. And I also think that the suppressor classes are the, really the only ones that will be different in the next video when I do the A4 instead of the A3. So, that's pretty much all that's going to be really done with this one. And I want to thank you all so much for watching, and thank you, Ed and 77, for... I don't know, if, thank you, 77, mainly for killing me, because good God, you know how long this video would be if he was not here, people? Now, admittedly, there were, he got he short-shanked me in the 79 site, but it was all good, because if it wasn't for him... Let, let's just thank 77. 77, where are you, you handsome son of a bitch? Where are you? Come back here. I love your name, I love your number. I love the reason that you kill me softly with this song, tell him my whole life. But mainly because otherwise this video would be too long, and I'm drawing it out longer now. So, thank you 77 so much, and uh, thank you Ed for joining, and I will see you all in the next video. This is Borkster77 signing out. Asta.